What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Hanok. I am a system administrator based in Boston, Massachusetts. I know a lot of you aspire to be a system administrator or something related in the information technology field. So in this video, we're going to explore what I think are the three pillars of what makes a great system administrator. So obviously there's no uh, handbook that states that these specific skills are what's needed to be a great system administrator in the whole wide world. What I've done is considered my information technology career so far, looked at some of the system administrators that I look up to, uh, as well as some research. And by combining all of those three, I've come up with what I consider to be three qualities of a high performing system administrator. And the three pillars consist of having a sound technical knowledge, good interpersonal skills, and critical thinking. Again, I want to reiterate that these are the skills that I've noticed on high performing system administrators. These are not the skills that you need to get your foot into the door. So let's start with technical skills. I've broken this section into three parts. Uh, first is operating system. Second is automation. And third is networking skills. Every system administrator has an operating system that they know like they know the back of their hand. The two most common are Linux and Windows. And in fact, without knowing an operating system, probably won't be able to land a system administration job. And when I say know an operating system, what I mean is that in any given context, you are the expert in the room on that operating system and giving guidance in whatever the project or context is. The second is automation. Automation is very key as a system administrator, and this is what sets you apart from, you know, a junior level system administrator. There are two reasons why automation is such a key skill. Uh, one is if you're able to automate something, that means you know the topic well enough that you're able to write a code to do what you normally do manually. That means you understand whatever the task is. It also means that you know code or scripting as well as being able to take something from nothing into fruition. The second reason is the fact that automating things just means you're saving time, which also means saving money, as well as allowing you to do work on other projects. And this is very, very valuable, obviously, for a company. And the last part of a technical skill is networking skills. Uh, and I don't mean networking skills that you do at a mixer. When I say networking, I mean your LANs, WANs, uh, Ethernet, switches, etc. Um, and I don't have to sit here and convince you that networking skills are important because there's a whole field dedicated to it. Companies hire dedicated network engineers to work on networking tasks because that's the backbone of all of the infrastructure a company has. So you most likely want somebody dedicated to that. As a system administrator, if you have networking skills under your belt, at least to the point where you're having smart and productive conversations with network engineers, that becomes very valuable for business, the team, etc. Okay, so we've talked about uh, technical skills, but what about interpersonal? personal skills. Uh, in my opinion, you can probably get away with uh, not having as much interpersonal skills if you do have lots of technical skills. But what I've noticed with the system administrators that I look up to is that they're able to effectively communicate with everybody. What does that mean? That means first, they have the technical knowledge that, to be able to explain a topic or an issue or whatever the situation is. But also, they're able to uh, transform the information based on the audience that they're talking to. Um, additionally, they have really good project management skills, and this comes in handy when you're dealing with multiple projects as well as multiple stakeholders and having to navigate prioritization, a delegation, and communication. The last pillar that I mentioned is critical thinking. By critical thinking, I mean it's the ability to assess any given, uh, assess and evaluate any given situation and make sound judgments. Uh, this becomes really, really key when troubleshooting uh, and solving problems. And the one thing that I can guarantee you as a system administrator is that there's gonna be an influx of problems to be fixed. Uh, but regardless of what the issues are, whether it's something simple or a whole network outage, a great system administrator will ask the right question, uh, evaluate the situation, and make a good judgment on how to deal with the situation. This speaks to the previous two tips of um, having technical knowledge. Without the proper technical knowledge, yeah, you might not even be able to properly evaluate the situation, as well as having the interpersonal skills to be able to communicate the problem 
or the solution. And of course, having the critical thinking skills to be able to judge the situation and deal with it the proper way. At this point, you might be wondering, like, how do I get there? How do I become a high performing uh, system administrator? What I would say is the biggest thing that I've noticed is that these sysadmins, uh, first off, have had years of experience, right? Uh, it's just not like a magic thing that happened right away. Um, but outside of the experience, uh, I've noticed that they're always learning, very curious, very adaptable. When there's new technology introduced uh, within the company, they are, uh, if they don't already know it, uh, give them a week and they have ideas on how it works. Uh, they're able to have conversations around it. And partly that's because we have foundational knowledge that allows them to grasp on new concept pretty quickly. But yeah, I hope if you get anything out of this video is that it's always to stay curious and always learn. Uh, I'm not making this video for it to be discouraging. In fact, that hopefully it does the opposite. And I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and until next time, peace.